Dave, was that kind of a tale of two halves? It certainly appeared that yeah. way. You were with them in the first half, and they kind of got hot from three after halftime. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we knew that uh, they were three for 22 in the first half from three, um, and they missed some open looks. And our focus coming out, you know, coming out of the half was to limit uh, their opportunities. But we didn't do a good job of that. We didn't come out with the necessary uh, urgency. Uh, to take away the three-point line. Uh, but probably more than anything that hurt us was offensively, we got really stagnant. And they do that to teams. Uh, you watch them on film, they get teams to stand, they get teams to hold. And uh, I thought in the second half, that was the difference. Our offense stalled out, and it allowed them to play off of more misses in transition and catching us in, in different matchup situations. Is how difficult was it for Taylor to come back after missing three games almost a week and just trying to get himself back in? It's the back. It just goes along with what I said before the game. Is this is unfortunately this is the lay of the land, and this is the circumstances that a lot of these guys are going to go through. Whether it's us, other teams, you know, he was he was literally testing even today and made sure that he got his you know got clear today and. You know, for a lot of these guys to be his last game was so good, and then he comes, he gets knocked out, loses his rhythm, comes back in. Uh, we try to get him right back into his groove, and he, you know, it wasn't his best, but I still, I thought he really competed defensively. So. Yeah. No, no, I, I just wanted to, I, I, I just turning my head to look. At, um, um, but. You've been on LeBron's teams before, um, and, and he's had two really good performances in the last two losses. Does it, when he plays like this, like he's been playing, does it feel just a little more, more disheartening to, to lose, even, even though this Phoenix team is very good? The one thing about LeBron, you know, and I don't like speaking for him, but he's not going to get wrapped up in that stuff, and neither are we. Uh, LeBron's looking at all of this as just a new challenge in front of him. Um, you know, after all of these years, he just doesn't get rattled with any of it. He's not a blamer. He's not a complainer. He's not finger pointing. He's going to figure out solutions. Um, and, you know, tonight's just, a, it was just one of those nights. You, you got Taylor one for 13. You got Isaiah one for 11, and who have been playing very well for us. Um, you know, that's, that's a lot of missed shots. We were six for 22 on open threes, I think, or six for 20. You know, against a team like Phoenix, you just can't miss those shots. And I think LeBron is smart enough to know that those shots will fall at some point. Uh, he's just going to keep leading and, and keep uh, pushing these guys with positive energy. Fizz, uh, behind the scenes, when you guys kind of evaluate or try to evaluate where this team is <laughs> today, today um, Obviously, the sample sizes are, are crazy small. Crazy. Is, is it still, are you guys still projecting as to what we think we could be, or is it still, or have you seen enough? Well, we're in the fight. That's the bottom line, is it's always just, you're in the fight, and, you know, just for whatever reason, this season has just been incredibly choppy for us. You know, we lose Braun early on. Um, AD, sick, banged up, sick banged up and it's like it's just finding a rhythm and a, and a continu continuity with the group um, you know you add Trevor then Taylor Austin and Malik and these guys go out and it's just trying to find our groove uh, you know as we go through this season and at the end of the day uh, ultimately you know if and when we find our connection we're going to be a really good basketball team and I think it's going to come together. All right, Rob.